we gonna watch this shit too? Like, come on, bro. Can we? Can we skip? Alright, 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 here we go, we're about to watch this season 3, episode 7, you know, Game of Thrones, holla at your boy, and uh, yeah, let me shout out to some people, you know what I'm saying, Brianna, uh, Alicia, Sir Cross, Bridge, Shay, Lisa, Rian, Anna, Fred, shout y'all out, alright, let's just hop into this, y'all already know I came out with a short film, y'all know I came out with a uh, book, you feel me, all those links are in the description. How far out? About a week, I think. You think? You think? You don't know. When we went to Castle Black, we took the King's Road. You and your roads. Is that how you lot do your fighting? You march down the road, banging drums and waving banners. Most of the time, yes. How do the men holding the banners fight? They don't. They don't, really. It's a great honor to carry your house sigil. What, and the drummers? Is that a great honor, too? Usually it's the young boys banging the drums. What good are they? They help the men march. How? Is it? It's, it's the rhythm. What do you mean? Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Well, you need help remembering that. Oh, it's not that. It's the it's signal we hit, Castle. The music. We won't be banging on drums to let them know we're coming. No. No, you're just gonna light the biggest fire the North's ever seen to let them know you're coming. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Hell no, I'm trying to see this fire. I'm trying to see this fire. He's right, you don't. I know you cut me loose on the wall. Cut her loose too. Do you see her sulking about it? That's because she understands the way things are. And now you're gonna share it with me. Yeah, basically. The deep wisdom you found inside the head of a bird. I'm talking about the bird. It suits them. They're loyal when it suits them. They love each other when it suits them, and they kill each other when it suits them. She knows it, you don't. Which is why you'll never hold on to her. Fuck you mean by that, bro? You weird as hell. That raid will cost us another day. Oh, Frey will wait. He knows we're coming. Lord Walder is prickly by nature. It's prickly? Is that what you call it? Might be the least. Hey! Come on. You think he loves you, is that it? What did he tell you? He's gonna make you his lady and live with you in some castle. No, he didn't tell me anything. I barely talks. I've seen you two whispering in the night. So? Like a pair of girls. What? You're jealous. Yes, he is. I'm jealous. Oh, damn. He's a bit with one of your own. And you're one of my own. I've never had a calm word from your mouth. You would, if you were mine. The fuck? I tell you that you're beautiful. Fierce. Wild. I'll be good to you. You love him. Do you? Do you love him? Right. I mean, she. Hey, he saved your damn life, so you better not go to that man. Is that it? Oh, he saved your life. His pretty hair and his pretty eyes. You think pretty's gonna make you happy? Oh, don't touch you won't love him so much when you find out what he really is. What is that? I would like to know. To fell all I ever wanted was to escape. To come here. To the capital. To see the southern knights in their painted armor and King's Landing after dark. All the candles burning in all those windows. I'm stupid. Stupid little girl with 
stupid dreams who never learn. Come on. Hey, you gonna learn? You gonna learn? You gonna learn today? Come walk with me. I remember the first time I saw you in the throne room. I'd never seen anyone who looked so unhappy. I want very much for you to be happy, Sansa, and so does my grandmother. You would have been happy at Highgarden. But women in our position must make the best of our circumstances. How do I make the best of my circumstances? I have to marry him. Has Lord Tyrion mistreated you? No. Has not. I'm kind to you. Has. He's tried. You don't want him, though. He's a Lannister. Far from the worst Lannister, wouldn't you say? I'm sorry. Here I am complaining to you. My son will be king. Sons learn from their mothers. I plan to teach mine a great deal. And your son, if I'm not mistaken, your son might be the Lord of Casterly Rock and the North someday. What? Damn. My son. With him. I'll have to. Be cool people. Have to. If it's the pain you're worried about. I'm not afraid of the pain. Not after what Joffrey's done to me. What is it then? He's rather good looking, even with the scar. Especially with the scar. He's a dwarf. So? And Loras. Loras. Some women like tall men. Some like short men. Some like hairy men, some like bald men. Gentle men, rough men, ugly men, pretty men, pretty girls. Most women don't know what they like until they've tried it. And sadly, so many of us get to try so little before we're old and gray. Tyrion may surprise you. From what I've heard, he's quite experienced. And that's a good thing. It can be. It can be. We're very complicated, you know. Pleasing us takes practice. For sure, for sure, How do for you sure. Know this? Only a woman would know. Some men don't know. Because they don't, you know, they just don't know. Yes, sweet girl. My mother taught me. She's a child. She's a foot taller than you. <laughs> child. What's the youngest you've ever had? Not that young. How much older? Older. You're a lord, she's a lady. <clears throat> and the beauty of that, I don't see the problem. Shay isn't going to like it. Shay is a whore. Are you going to marry her? Eh? Yeah, she, he was. He was. Or work out for you the first time. I should never have told you about that. You want Shay? Keep her. Wed one and bed the other. All we have to do is get a son in the Stark girl. He'll be Lord of Winterfell one day. You can rule the North in his name. You'll have two women and a whole kingdom of your own. To us. But how do we know these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts? That brought the whole world to heel. Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counseled. You are being counseled at this very moment. Right. <laughs> I should be consulted about such things. From now on, I will see to it that you are appropriately consulted on important matters. Whenever necessary. Your grace. So awkward. Being the grandfather and you have to. Uh. Like. Ah, uh, man. The yellow city. Crazy. The Yunkish train beds, they not soldiers. We can defeat them. On the field with ease. But they won't meet us on the field. They have provisions, patience, and strong walls. If they're wise, they'll hide behind those walls and chip away at us. And got three dragons. I don't want half my army killed before I cross the narrow sea. We don't need Yunkai, Khaleesi. 
taking this city will not bring you any closer to Westeros or the Iron Throne. Eh? How many slaves are there in Yunkai? 200,000, if not more. Then we have 200,000 reasons to take the city. Hey, yo! Belmute y vestras que sir ponte giorina. Se ponjo o bulla yon mazurina. Louis! Lodar henkos vesho se hai astropot yon kai putilza. you I'd be very 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 scared Fucks with Khaleesi. She she letting loose all the um. An honorable house. Yeah, I keep Master thinking her um dragons are savages to offer terms of peace. <laughs> Noble lord, you are in the presence of Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen, queen of the Andals and the First Men, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, breaker of chains and mother of dragons. That's a long ass name. Sit. I fucks with it. Yep. Will the noble lord take refreshment? Ancient and glorious is Yunkai. Our empire was old before dragons stirred in old Valyria. Many an army has broken against our walls. You shall find no easy conquest here, Khaleesi. Good. All right. Practice. I was told to blood them early. If blood is your desire, blood shall flow. But why? It is true you have committed savageries in Astapor, but the Yunkai are a forgiving and generous people. The wise masters of Yunkai have sent a gift for the Silver Queen. Yes. Gold ink. There is far more than this awaiting you on the deck of your ship. My ship? Yes, Khaleesi. As I said, we are a generous people. You shall have as many ships as you require. And what do you ask in return? All we ask is that you make use of these ships. Sail them back to Westeros where you belong and leave us to conduct our affairs in peace. I have a gift for you as well. Your life. My life. And the lives of your wise masters. But I also want something in return. You will release every slave in Yunkai. Every man, woman, and child shall be given as much food, clothing, and property as they can carry as payment for their years of servitude. Reject this gift, and I shall show you no mercy. You are mad. We are not Astapor or Karth. We are Yunkai. And we have powerful friends, friends who would take great pleasure in destroying you. Do you know whose house you in? I mean, she ain't even got a house, but. Make a slave of you as well. Do you see the fucking dragons? Who is crazy? 
Bet my dragons made no promises, and you threatened their mother. Crazy ass mother. Take the gold. Crazy. Crazy. Y'all, y'all don't know where y'all been. Ah, nah, get away. My gold. You gave it to me, remember? And I shall put it to good use. You'd be wise to do the same with my gift to you. Now get out. Crazy ass. Do y'all see the dragons? I mean, well, you know, they CGI, so they don't actually see it. So it's like... He said he had powerful friends. Who is he talking about? I don't know. Find out. Crazy. He really he, well. Solid gold from the mines outside Lannisport. Smithed in Casterly Rock. Golden chains. You could buy a ship with these. Do I need a ship? What? No, Am I I'm... going somewhere? Of course you're not going anywhere. So, Am I invited to? Spotted a Lannister raiding party. How many? No more than twenty. How far? Less than a day's ride south. What do you say, boys? Time for a lion hunt. Yeah! But what about River Run? It's not south. It's west of here. It will still be west of here two days from now. You swore. To take you home, and I will. But we need to do this first. Why? So you can steal their gold? I swear to you, this isn't any... I don't care what you swear. Because you're a liar. You lied to Gendry, you lied to me. You lied to anyone. I hope the Lannisters kill you all. One day you'll understand. But now... Damn, you ran. I didn't think you was going to run. Hey, y'all ain't gonna catch her right now, bro. She ain't got nothing hold her back. She she gonna get away. She got no family, no friends. She's by herself. She gonna get away. Kick all you like, wolf girl. Won't do you no good. Ah, uh, well. This guy. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Thought she was going to get away. Thought you were gone. Tomorrow. <laughs> Have they told you what they plan to do with me? Lord Bolton's traveling tomorrow as well. He's going to the twins for Edmund Tully's wedding. You're to remain here. With Locke. I owe you a debt. Lannisters always pay their debt. I released you. We both made a promise to her. Now it's your promise. You gave your word. Keep it and consider the debt paid. I will return the Stark Ghosts to their mother. I swear it. Goodbye, Sir Jamie. Well, <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to get the um, um, Sansa back to their mother. It's gonna be really hard to do that. <laughs> And, uh, yes. Arya, good luck finding her. It will take time. Tyburn hopes your father will force the Citadel to give him back his chance. That's where I know him from. Grand Mace, he grows me a new hand. On him. You will get 
He was in Blade. I trust. Tell Rob Stark I'm. Hell yeah. The Lannisters send her regards. I was looking at him like, damn, I don't know him from something. Nothing to say. I too better before. I don't remember chopping your balls off too. Don't you worry about your friend. We'll take good care of her. <sighs> that hurt. Yeah. I think that's just it. Just random women. Gentle, my lord. Yeah, <laughs> doing. Miranda knows what she's doing. Let her. She trained as a scepter only. <laughs> She had other urges. So did the Septons. Only they lied about it. <laughs> hey, if I was you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust none of that. There's no one here but you, me, and Violet. I don't. Uh -uh. I not trust none of that. Just to see it. Oh, come on, let us see it. Everybody talks about it. <laughs> what is it? He sent you. <laughs> Who sent us? We sent ourselves to his great joy. We heard so much about it. I don't trust none of that. Mm -mm. There it is. Oh. Do you think we're ugly? No, he's just... He's what? ugly. Dude, he's... Do so much. Exactly. Look at his poor face. Bro, get the fuck out of there. Help me. Fuck out of there. Fuck. We need to make him feel better. And how can we make him feel better? Oh, bro, get the hell out of here. Can you walk, bro? Can you walk? Hey, bro, try to walk. Try to walk out of there, bro. Just come on. Don't be distracted by that. Save your life, man. Don't, don't, don't do it. You know how they are, these religious I know he probably in a whole bunch of pain right now, but Maybe come on, come on. Are. I don't trust it. I don't trust none of this. Like, can you get off of me? I'm trying to leave. Uh, I felt something. Why? What, what, is, what is this scene? Like, at this point, like, come on, like... What is this? As good as they say. Mm. This, is, this is what we get to. Like, can we get to the actual fucking story? And why should you get all the fun? Why are we? Why is this even a thing, bro? What? You like her better? Plenty there for both of us. I was here first. What is the point of this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Terrible timing. See? I told you. I told you. But I was getting you jealous. Well? Did you see this cock everyone's always going on about? Damn! Now you want to leave? Now you want to leave? 
Everyone knows you love girls. I bet you always thought they loved you back. Your famous cock must be very precious to you. Would you say it's your most precious part? <laughs> Don't cut his dick off, man. Don't cut his dick off, man. <laughs> Don't hold him down, too. We gonna watch this shit, too? Like, come on, bro. Can we, can we skip? Can we just skip? Please, just... <laughs> I'm not killing you. Shit. You're killing a lot of men right now. You're killing a lot of men right now. I don't want to see this shit. Skip. Skip. I didn't know. That shit. It's going to scare it off. I'm going to scare it. I'm going to kill it. It's too far away. Got it. Is that a palace? It's a windmill. Windmill. Who built it? Some king. Just the men who used to live here. Oh, they must have been great builders stacking stones so high. Winterfell has towers three times that size. Well, I'm Jon Snow and I'm from Winterfell. My daddy was a fancy lord, and I lived in a tower that touched the clouds. If you were impressed by a windmill, you'd be swooning if you saw the great keep at Winterfell. Right. Swooning? Fainting. Fainting. What's fainting? Poker in the... When a girl sees blood and collapses. Why would a girl see blood and collapse? Well... <laughs> are like you. Well, girls see more blood than boys. Or do you like girls who swoon, Jon Snow? <gasps> oh, a spider! Save me, Jon Snow! My dress is made of... <laughs> fa la 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 -lally day I'd like to see you in a silk dress. Would you? You never know! You might look good in one! You never know! Well, you ripped my pretty silk dress. I'll blacken your eye. Damn. Probably would like that. Probably into that shit. Maybe one day I'll take you to Winterfell. Oh, maybe one day I'll take you there. I feel like something about to happen. An arrow come out of nowhere. Egret. You won't win. I know your people are brave. No one denies that. Well, you know nothing. Six don't... times in the last thousand years, a king beyond the walls attacked the kingdoms. Six times they failed. And how do you know that? Every boy in the north knows it. We grow up learning it. Where the battles were fought, the names of the heroes, who died where. Six times you've invaded, and six times you failed. The seventh will be the same. Mance is different. You don't have the discipline. You don't have the training. Your army is no army. You don't know how to fight together. You don't know that. I do. I know it. If you attack the wall, you'll die. All of you. He had to say it. Gonna push him away and say, "This is hit your cause. What? What, what you gonna do?" You're mine, and I'm yours. And if we die, we die. The first will live. Yes. The first will live. Exactly. Exactly. So we're not gonna uh, attack today. Maybe not within the next ten years. Maybe not ever. Let's live first. You know what I'm saying?
What's he going on about? And how come he always gets to sit and chat while we do all the work? Hold on. Hmm. Hold on. That's well. I'm Groot. Telling him. It's all right, Usher. It's not all right. You think I can't hear you every day? Filling his head with black magic, talking about visions and three-eyed ravens and worse. Leave him alone. He can speak for himself. I don't fill his head with anything. So what do you talk about? What's happening to him and what that means. Go on then. Tell us what it is. Yeah. Not like that. I wish I could tell him all the answers. It would be much easier. I don't want you talking to me. Why not? Your brother at Castle Black. We're not going to Castle Black. What did you say? I told you already. Jon Snow isn't there. Bran needs to find the raven beyond the wall. Oh, no, I'm not going back there. Your brother is at Castle Black. That's where we're going. Look at me. The raven's been coming to... The only way to treat disease is to understand disease. And the only way to understand it is to study the afflicted. He performed experiments on living man. On dying men. With their permission. My studies have given me insight. Saved many lives. Find pauper's I assume. Men with no families to complain. Damn. You found them moaning in the poorhouse and have them carted back to your garret. And opened up their bellies to see what was inside. How many men have you killed, my lord? I don't know. Fifty? One hundred? <laughs> Countless. Countless has a nice ring to it. And how many lives have you saved? Half a million. The population of King's Landing. You were in charge of the ravens at Harren. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you get a bird off to Brienne's father in Tarf? A bird flew off and a bird flew back. Yeah. Lord Selwyn Tarth offered three hundred gold dragons for his daughter's safe return. Fair offer. Fair offer. Luck won't take it. Where are the dra gold dragons? Not. He's convinced Lord Tarth owns all the sapphire mines in Westeros. Oh. He feels he's being cheated. Make fools to kill her. These men have been at war a long time. Most of them will be dead by winter. She'll be their entertainment tonight. Beyond tonight, I don't think they care very much. Damn. Ooh -wee. Ooh -wee. We have to return to Harrenhal. Why? I've left something behind. Absolutely not. I've got orders from Lord Bolton. And what are those orders? To deliver you to your father at King's Landing. You think you'll get a reward? Here you go, Lord Bolton. Any appreciation you your father? You think you're getting a reward? Let me explain something to you. When my father sees me, the first thing he's going to ask is what happened to my hat, and I'm going to tell him this man chopped it off. I had nothing. Oh, I could tell him this man saved my life. We return to Harrenhal now. Shit, what's going on? Oh God. Oh God. What the fuck? Stop running and fight. Man, she got a wooden sword.
And this motherfucker. A wooden sword. <laughs> so it's gone. You gave her a wooden sword. You only got one bear. I'll pay her bloody ransom. Gold, sapphires, whatever you want. Just get her out of there. Oh, you lords and ladies. You still think that the only thing that matters is gold. Well, this makes me happier than all your gold ever. Then get her out of there. Makes me happier than all her sapphires. So go buy yourself a golden hand and fuck yourself with it. Oh, shit. About to get mauled. You ain't got nothing. Get behind me. You will not. You ain't got nothing. This is crazy as hell. <laughs> oh, fuck you, you're in a bar! Lord Bolton charged me with bringing him back to King's Landing. A lie! And that's what I aim to do. Makes sense. Pull up. Wow. Smart buffoon. Come on, boy. You missed. <laughs> but I hope that motherfucker can't jump. Shit, that was playing. I was just started playing. You're taking it to King's Landing. Unless you kill me. She belongs to me. Lord Bolton's orders. What do you think is more important to Lord Bolton? Getting his pet rat a reward or ensuring time and Nanus to get his son back alive? Huh? Which one? You know how to play your hand. Well, we must be on our way. No pun intended. Sorry about the sapphires. Damn, y'all motherfuckers in love with each other at that point. Y'all y'all both sacrificed each other to save each other at that point. I don't even know who's in debt with each other at this point. Sheesh. Good episode, good episode. Got how many more? Got three more. Three more episodes. I'm all for it. <sighs> yeah, I'm all for it. So, yeah. I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. So, if you want to support the channel, join my Patreon. All my full reactions going to be uploaded there. You already know. And, um, yeah, check out my short film. I uh, came out with part two not too long ago. Um, part one and part two. The link is in the description. And if you want to support the channel any other way, get my book. Link is in the description as well. And as always, thanks for